Welcome to Actions in Excel and in this video we're going to explore a bit more with the feature of Checkbox. So Checkbox is really fun and it's one of the new features in Google Sheets. And with the Checkbox as you can see right now we adjusted the value of it from true to false to 1 and 0. So let's play around more with this because this can be really fun. So what we want to do now is we want to connect the Checkbox and create a VLOOKUP function we're going to that. So let's start with that. So I'm going to put in checkbox here and once we have the checkbox we will create a VLOOKUP function and the VLOOKUP function will get the values of these here. So we're going to put them in down and I'm, going to, I'm just going to increase the page as well. So you have these values here and there will be a VLOOKUP depending on the checkbox. So the checkbox will say quantity or quality. Yes, and once it's Oh, sorry, uh, quantity or price. So once we see apples, we will see quantity. And if we uncheck it, for example, we check it, we will only see the price. So this is really nice because now you can learn how to combine a checkbox. And if you look at it more further ahead, you can really think, oh, I can create forms with that. Creating a form, checkboxes, or a dashboard where you just can press by pressing, it will show only one item. So let me show you exactly what we're talking about. So first of all, let's insert a new checkbox. All right, I'm just going to insert this. Yes, and we know here this is right now true and false. Let's start to change that instead of false, it should be here on this. Yes, or, well, let me show you. We're going to make a VLOOKUP, so you will understand what we're going to do first. So we have this VLOOKUP, well, all right, what's the, the VLOOKUP search key? Well, this is the search key, comma, where is the range? Well, we have this range here comma uh, range value what is the range value so if so the range value is what we say okay let's make this two first yes and then I say here false so this we don't need enter all right so right now it, it gets the value of 10 yes because we put in two yes however I don't want two what I want to do is I want to do this is I'm going to remove this and I'll say select this I'm going to Hide it. I'll select this one. Yes, so it would be this. Enter. Of course, now it says, hey, this is not a value. Don't worry. Let's readjust the value from true to a number. All right, so let's re right click. And wait, I'll just scroll down a little bit so you will see the full form. Right click, and then you go down here. And as you can see, why isn't I clicking it? True is a value of one, so it will show Apple. So that's the reason why it shows. All right. However, let's go down here, data validation, and let's use here and use custom cell values. So if it is true, well, let's do them false. If it's false, it is column number two that we have here, right? And if it's true, it should be the money part that we should column number three. Okay, save. And now you can see, we can start to see this. But what happened if we now uncheck this? Or check this. Now it shows you. 50 cents that's the price of the apple so let's well before we do this we have to freeze these columns i'll press the f4 and these columns are f f4 all right done and double click am i missing something here now of course as you can see here this needs to be f4 as well we need to freeze all of these then once we did that double click yeah i get that's an error all right Let's see what's going on here. We have the value. That, yes, that is not F4. Sorry about that. No F4 on that one. And then double click. Then you can see or the double click doesn't work because of all the errors here. So just delete this all. And then we can double click here. There you are. So now it works because you can see your grapes is $1. Is that true? Grapes is $1. Yes. Melons is one dollar as well and mangoes is 150 so let's double check here melons one dollar mango 150 uncheck there you are you can see all these values are being shown beautiful so this is really how you can do this and of course i'm surprised here that sometimes this can be of course apples because it's duplicate values it will it might get the values from the first one they see in list however they are luckily it's smart enough to see it however this is really how you can use google sheets 
with the checkbox and then combine it with a VLOOKUP function. And, uh, and I hope you understand the more you combine together, you can create something really, really beautiful.